Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are going to be starting at Froome in the parish of Westmoreland. We are heading towards Hanover. Now, did you know that the parish of Westmoreland, it was taken from the parish of St. Elizabeth in 1703? <laughs> yes, man. Also, parts of Manchester was also taken from the parish of St. Elizabeth in 1814. Now, presently, the custos for the parish of Westmoreland is Father Hartley D. Perrin. The mayor for the parish of Westmoreland is Mr. Bertel Moore. The parish has three members of parliament and they are all members of the Jamaica Labour Party. In central Westmoreland, Mr. George Wright, although him same independent, we know already, <laughs> we know the thing. Mr. George Wright, he took away the seat from Mr. Dwayne Vaz by 1,228 votes. In eastern Westmoreland, Mr. Daniel Lawrence, he beat Luther Buchanan by 11 votes. And in western Westmoreland, Mr. Moreland Wilson, he had beaten Dr. Wickham McNeil by 1,050 votes. All this was in the last general election. So, continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, yesterday, we told you about a traffic accident that claimed the life of a man and a woman. Now, if you look on your screen, those are the two persons who died in the accident. The man, his name is Mr. Winston Wellness. He was 31 years old and he lived at Morris District in Jericho in the parish of Anova. The name of the female, she was a pillion on the bike. Her name is Sashe Grant. She was 26 years old and she lived at Rosites in the parish of St. James. Both of them, they died as a result of this collision. Now, the female who was driving the car, we are told that she was taken into police custody and most likely she will be charged for causing death by dangerous driving. Sad indeed. Condolences to the family and friends of Winston and Sachet's family. May their souls rest in peace. Now, yesterday, we also told you about the death of Mr. Ricardo Jemison. He was also known as Ricky or Poncha. We told you that he was in a bar across from the Ruby's gas station in White House. But no, he was actually in a bar across from Ruby's restaurant. Now, that is right in the vicinity of the Culloden Vocational Training Centre at White House. We also told you that Poncha's gun could not be found. Well, our information is that it was found yesterday. The police, they went back to Poncha's house and they made a further search. And the gun, it was found in the house. So, <laughs> boy, may I tell you, Poncha, he was at White House. And his gun that he has to protect himself was at his house at Lennox B. Goods in Darlistan. Sad indeed. Now, this incident, it took place last night, Saturday, October 1, 2022, about 8 o'clock. It took place at Bastard Cedar Walk in the Petersfield area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that that board and concrete house that you are seeing on your screen, it was seen on fire. As a result, the fire department and the police, they were contacted. We are told that fire personnel from the Savannah Lamar Fire Department, they were quick on the scene. They were able to bring the fire under control. But a lot of damage was already done. Because most, if not all of the contents in the house were already destroyed by fire. We are told that a man named Junior, he owned and lived at that house. The police and the fire department, they are investigating to find out what might have caused this fire. Sad indeed. Now, over in the parish of St. James, we are learning that a 19-year-old cashier, she has been arrested and charged for an illegal gun. This took place last night, Saturday, October 1, 2022, about some minutes to 9 o'clock. 
It took place at Plantation Heights in the Cambridge Police area in the parish of St. James. Hear this now. We are learning that a wake yard was being held in the area for a hoodlum known as Mikey. Mikey was shot and killed earlier this year by rivaling hoodlums. We are told that the police, they received intelligence that some of Mikey's cronies, they had planned on giving him gun salute at his wake yard last night. As a result, a joint police military team, they went to the wake yard and they locked it down. Now, whilst persons were leaving the wake yard, we are told that a female, she was seen with a knapsack on her back. This female, she was stopped by the police and a search requested. The bag, it was searched and bingo. The police, they found in the bag one black and chrome 9mm pistol. It was affixed with a magazine containing 10 rounds of 9mm cartridges. As a result, this female, she was arrested and charged by the police. Her name is Chrissy Lee Thompson. She is 19 years old and she is a cashier. She also lives in the Plantation Heights area. So, Chrissy Lee, she has been arrested and charged for this gun. This illegal gun, which I am sure somebody might have given her the bag to walk past the police with. Do you agree or you disagree? <laughs> so, she took the bag, put it on her back, and she was walking out when she was stopped by the police. So, Chrissy Lee, she'll be going to the courts shortly. And congratulations to the Montego Bay police for being proactive and recovering this illegal weapon. Job well done. Now, in this next incident, it took place yesterday afternoon. Saturday, October 1, 2022, about 1 o'clock. It took place at Gin Candy Wholesale on Barnett Street in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. We are learning that a security manager, he's in his mid-60s. He was on duty at the wholesale when a hoodlum walked in and said something to this security manager. The hoodlum, he then brandished a gun and pointed it at the security manager. The security manager, he managed to hold on to the hoodlum's gun. Now, two of the hoodlum's cronies, they were also in the store. They joined their crony and they wrestled away the gun from the security manager. They also took away the security manager's gun. Now, while they were trying to take away the security manager's gun, we are told that a shot went off and one of the hoodlums was hit. All three hoodlums, they then made good their escape from the store. They also escaped with the security manager's .38 revolver. Luckily, neither the security manager nor anyone else in the store were harmed. We are told that blood spots were seen leaving the store. So let's hope that this bullet, it connected good and proper. <laughs> Why may I tell you? So we carried a story on Sunday, September 18th, 2022. And we told you about an incident that took place at Sammy Drive in Narwood in Montego Bay. But before I tell you about what happened, I got this WhatsApp message this morning. It is on your screen. It says, This boy, your papa, him dead yesterday. The 14-year-old and the 19-year-old were dead in a corona season at Narwood. A him killed them. The fool did a kill a whole heap of people, but me couldn't get the fool pick. Him kill him friend from bottom pen, then kill the little brother, the Christies. You remember those stories? Yeah, man. Two Christies were killed from bottom pen. So this person is saying that this person is the person who killed them. Now, the person went on to say, Today, the little brother are buried, meaning the younger Christie is being buried today. The person went on, private funeral, because them know a friend killing Guan. So what this person is saying is that this person who we are going to be talking about a him kill the Christies and the Christies family they are keeping a private funeral for the younger Christie who was killed because they know that the younger Christie he died as a result of friend killing. So what is this person talking about or who is this person talking about? 
on Friday, September 16th, 2022, about 9 p.m. A team of police officers and soldiers, they were on duty at a Zozo checkpoint at Bottom Pen in Norwood in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. We are told that a brown BMW motor car, it was seen driving at a fast rate of speed. This BMW, it also had an flashing lights. The police, they signaled the car to stop and the driver, he complied. It was then realized that a man was on the back seat of the car and he was bleeding. The man is that man that you're seeing on your screen. And he's the person who the person in the WhatsApp message is referring to. His name is Owen Stevens and he was 34 years old. Owen lived at Charles Drive in Narwood. We are told that Owen, he was along the Sammy Drive main road when he was attacked and shot by hoodlums. He received gunshot wounds to his neck, his chest and his abdomen. Owen was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was admitted in a serious condition. Well, yesterday, Owen, he lost the battle. Fifteen days after he was shot, he died in hospital. So, based on what the person in the WhatsApp message is saying at the start of the story, it seems as if Owen, he has been playing stupid games. And you know what are the prizes you win by playing stupid games. Why may I tell you? Now, in this next story, we are going back to Eastern Hanover. We are going to show you a video. Here is Mr. Craig Oates again. And Craig Oates, enough respect, sir. Here goes. People may be agree to me. Right? We are murderers taking place. Spider Man bar, owner and proprietor was shot and killed. You understand what I say? Crowd has now gathered right here. Now, why would somebody want to kill? A man that has been here for so long. You understand the message? This murder in our community has got very, 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 very bad. So, Craig, he was talking about that man on your screen. And that's the best photo we could get of him. If you out there have any other photo of this man, please send us a WhatsApp message. 876 458 9111. One. Now, that man, his name is Mr. Garth Carr, but he was popularly known as Spider or Spider-Man. He was 62 years old and Spider, he has been operating a cook shop at the Great River from the devil was a boy. He lived at Woodland in the parish of Anova. Now, yesterday morning, Saturday, October 1, 2022, like Spider has been doing for many, many years. He left his home at minutes to 6 o'clock to go to his cook shop. But hoodlums, they were there waiting on Spider. And for whatever reason, they decided that today is the last day that Spider is going to live. Spider, he reached his shop sometime after 6 o'clock. But shortly afterwards, gunshots were heard. A car was also heard speeding off, but no one bothered to check because... Spider was the last person anyone would expect hoodlums to harm. A few minutes later, one of Spider's employees, she turned up for work and there was her boss, lying face down on the ground in a pool of blood. The police were called and when they inspected Spider, they realized that he had received gunshot wounds to his upper body. Spider he apparently died on the spot. Another hard-working Jamaican businessman. His life has been snuffed out. Just like that. Now, <laughs> where is the outrage? Where is the protest? Where is the black road? Why, may I tell you? The mayhem. The may so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Are you so in tuned? This story grab on you, not true. Yeah, man, this story grab you. <laughs> so up until now, you forget, say, Papa, I need some love. Okay, it's your time now. Hit on the love button. And if you are over here watching the videos 
and you have not yet subscribed, there is the subscribe button. Hit on it. As also, hit on the notification bell. When you hit on the notification bell, just click on all. So that as soon as you drop a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Now in the final story for today, and you're going to want to listen this one carefully. You know how we do already, you know. We do our homework and bring the stories to you. So listen this one carefully. We carried a story on Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. And we told you about an incident that took place the said morning about 9 o'clock. We told you that a man, he's popularly known as God or Holloman. He had gone to the Negril police station to report on condition of bail. Now, whilst he was walking back to his home and reaching a section of red ground, God, he realized that he was being followed by some hoodlums in a black car. This car, it was driving slowly behind him. He ran off and the hoodlums who were in the car, they stopped and jumped out with guns in hands. They chased him and opened a barrage of gunshots at him. He however managed to elude his attackers. The hoodlums, they then jumped back into the black car and they made good their escape. Now, when the smoke was cleared, it was realized that four persons were shot. God, the person who the hoodlums wanted to kill, he received gunshot wounds to both his feet. That man on your screen, his name is Orlando Evans. He was popularly known as OJ. He was 24 years old. He received gunshot wounds to his head. He died as a result. Another man, his name is Winston Casanova. He was also known as Tyler. He received gunshot wounds to his head. He also died. A pregnant lady in her late 20s, she received gunshot wounds to her right foot and her bottom. Both the lady and God, they were treated in hospital. Now, when the police processed that crime scene, over 20 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. So, that incident, it took place in broad daylight. God, he would have been able to see who his attackers were. And we are told that the information was passed on to the police. So, keep on following. I'm going to be dragging your memory a little bit so you will better understand what exactly is happening. You remember we carried an incident that took place on Saturday night, August 20, 2022, about 9.30. It took place at a bar along the Landailo Main Road in the parish of Westmoreland. A party was being held at a bar. It is said that that party... It was being put on by a man named Asani Cook. Asani, he's popularly known as Doppy and he's 37 years old. It is said that hoodlums drove up in a white Toyota Axio motor car, went into the bar and opened gunfire at Doppy. Doppy managed to escape unhurt, but that youngster on your screen, he was in the bar. His name is Akim Dulcio. He was popularly known as Bojo and he was 26 years old. Bojo was shot and killed. Now, two other persons were in the bar. A female and a male. They were also shot and injured. The man, he received gunshot wounds to his groin. Now, that man who was shot, that's Doppi's father. Are you following me? Hear this now. Asani Kook also known as Doppy, and another guy. His name is Conroy Campbell. He's popularly known as Connie or Junior. He is 23 years old and he's living at 135 Darling Street. Both Doppy and Junior. They are facing the courts on murder and gun charges. They were given bail by the court and they were instructed to report on condition of bail at the Savannah Lamar police station well on wednesday september 28 2022 both of them they went to the police station to report on condition of bail both of them they were taken into police custody 
they were questioned in the presence of their lawyer on Thursday, September 29th. And they were both charged for the double murder of Orlando Evans, also known as OJ and Winston Casanova, as also the wounding of God and the pregnant lady. So look at this now. Look at this. Hoodlums went for Doppy. Doppy escaped and hurt. Innocent Bojo was killed and two other persons were injured. Hoodlums went to kill God. He was injured, but OJ and Winston, they were killed. And a pregnant lady injured. <laughs> I know, you know. I know. A lot of you, you don't like to hear when I end the videos by saying this. But I am facing and talking about the reality. And that is why I will continue to say, the mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun Jamaica become now the land of 